Hello and welcome to the Adnaco S3 system instructional video. The Adnaco S3 system allows to extend standard high-speed USB interface to a distance of up to 300 meters or approximately 1000 feet from the host PC. What's included in the system? The system includes Adnaco R1 USB high-speed USB host controller with three USB host controller ports. Adnaco H1 host controller that converts standard PCI Express bus to Adnaco PCI Express over fiber optic signal. 50 meter or 160 feet FC150 fiber optic cable that is also included in the system. Note that for illustrational purposes I'll be using 10 meter or 32 feet cable. Standard PC with at least one standard PCI Express slot right here and some kind of operating system for example Windows, Linux, Mac OS etc that is capable of supporting PCI Express bus. For demo purposes, we will be using Windows XP. On to installation. First of all, and this is very important, make sure that both your PC and PC power supply right here are turned off. Install H1 host controller into the PCI slot on your PC. This is typically a bit of a tricky part. Here we go. Remove black protective cap from R1 USB right at the back of the device. Now, as I said, I was going to be using a shorter version of the cable for demo purposes. So this is uh, a 10 meter or 32 feet cable. Uh, basically what I'm doing, I am installing, inserting the one end of the cable, doesn't really, really matter which one, into the back of the USB R1 USB device. Uh, if the installation or if the insertion was completed successfully you should hear a click. In the next step remove the black protective cap from the H1 card and insert another end of the cable into the H1 Again, as I've mentioned before, since both ends of the cable are identical, it doesn't really matter which end goes where. Uh, you have to connect in the next step R1 USB device to power. As soon it, as it is connected to power, you should see a green light come on. Hopefully you guys can see that uh, at the back of the R1 USB device. This implies that the device has been properly connected to power. Uh, turn on your PC power supply. Turn on your PC. Now while the PC is uh, initializing, uh, notice that a second green light has come on on the R1 USB device. This implies that now the fiber optic connection between the device and the PC has been properly established. Uh, also, although this is not uh, visible in this video, a green light should come on on the H1 host controller. Now, as soon as the PC is properly initialized, which will take another couple of seconds, three red lights located underneath the USB ports on the R1 USB should also become visible, should also light on. Now, let's wait for the computer to initialize. Notice how the three red lights have come on. I'm going to bring the device closer to the camera so you can see it. Uh, let me now log on to the computer. Should take another couple of seconds. Now, what I have here is a USB flash drive uh, with a movie file saved on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert this flash drive into the R1 USB host controller. It is very important to know uh, that in real life situation, this particular device can be located as far as several hundred feet, uh, meters uh, or up to thousand feet away from the computer connected to it via the uh, fiber optic cable. Now, the USB, as you can see, the USB initiation dialog has started on a computer. If I 
decide to navigate to that particular folder, uh, I will find a movie file and if I double click on it, a movie should come up. Now, while the movie is playing, uh, let me reiterate some several key points at this time. Uh, the R1 USB host controller again can be located as far as 300 meters or 1,000 feet away from the host PC. Having said that, your computer right here sees the R1 host controller as an internal port. And this is accomplished without any special kind of software other than normal operating system software that is already installed on the computer, i.e. in this case Windows XP. Also, it is very important to remember that these three ports on the R1 USB device are standard USB ports and support all of the features related to the standard USB interfaces. It implies that every port complies with the full USB 2.0 specifications and supports all three speed rates. 1.5 megabits low speed, 12 megabits full speed, 480 megabits high speed. Also, it supports hot plug and play specifications. Now, speaking of hot plug and play specifications, if I unplug the USB flash drive from the R1 USB device, like so, in a couple of seconds, the video will start stop playing. And you will get an error message. Now, let me close the dialog and close Windows Media Player. Now, if I reinsert the same USB flash drive back into the R1 USB device, in a couple of seconds, the USB initiation dialog should start. And I would be able to go back to the folder, double click on the movie and initialize the movie. Note that the system remains stable with no unusual side effects. In other words, the entire S3 system that you see in front of you is functioning like a normal internal USB port. And this is how you install your Adnaco S3 system. Thank you for your attention and hopefully see you next time.